Jesus' real men shake the face. Good morning, Stinky Daily Shaver. This morning, I'm starting my day with coffee. Mmm. It's the only way to shave. Uh, if I shaved in the evening, it'd probably be a shot of something. To, a bit of the spirit, a bit of the wee spirits. Not a bit of spritz does not affect mm, a shave. Um, off I heard, I got these ones. These are two more spritzes. Now, the reason I put links in the comment section of my YouTube clips is um, it's good stuff, right? Someone does a good deal on some excellent blades, I put it in there. If Mass Drop do a great deal on a razor or maybe a knife or something, I put it in there. Um, I heard give you something to get started. And if people um, buy, click through on your links, eventually it cuts down how much. This order cost me about half price from people clicking through. Thank you to the people that click through. It's not like I charge anything for the time or the stuff I collect or anything. It's not even to make a profit. It's links to things that you don't get other, any other way. Unless you click through on iHerb, um, they'll sell you stuff with no discount. I like to give people the discount and tell them what's worth buying. In the case of I Herb, these are spritzes. Okay, they're still all taped and plasticed up for the time being, mostly because it takes a while to get through this stuff. Hence the reason why I'm being generous with it. Sent at the moment. Now, leftover um, cream from yesterday and using the Amiga S brush. I just liked it for the wood handle. I liked the de design. I was going to get a red one. I think red looks cool. Then I saw the wood one and I went, nah, I'd rather a wood, wooden, the wood look. I'm pretty sure they're all made of wood. It's just, uh... now, wow, this is just left over from yesterday. So, hump day 2.0. I've decided to make Wednesday hump day for me. So, uh, on a Wednesday, if I do a shave video, that's what I'll be shaving with, because I just like it. It is, and I've got a few now, it is probably, for summer, my favourite scent. Uh, mind you, I think you can probably shave with it all year round. Let's go and grab the Aggressive. I think it's the 94R, and it's a heavy one as well. But I know I have to keep my fingers away from this or else I will adjust the blade gap in mid-shave. And it does feel more aggressive than yesterday's razor. But uh, yesterday's razor, the 99, wow, probably about the same in overall weight. I skipped over butterflies to begin with. The few that I got were like the, um, the few that I got initially were cheapos, like this, um, uh, micro touch one or whatever they call it Basically, I bought a couple of them so I can get the stands oh, Cost as much to get the stands with postage than so we know I can always piff the razors to someone else Bit a bit of practice you can get a good shave off them I'd prefer a Parker butterfly any day over the cheapies question is can you get a good shave with a butterfly? Things I like is the ease of opening, closing, and swapping blades. Certain, certain models will suit people who want a heavier one, lighter one, longer handle one. Parker make a really good range at the price point they're charging. There's a few others you can look at, but I'd say if you're looking at uh, any of the modern ones, they will be Parkers. In my opinion, worth getting from Delta Echo, or this one's just a vintage one from my birth year. The Slim, Gillette Slim. Nothing wrong with these, but there's something about the Gillette Slim or the Fat Boy, although I'm not a fan of the Fat Boy myself, other people are. Why did Amiga remove their complication for the um, first space flight? It was simple. In space, no gravity. Automatics use gravity. Now, since when they sent Neil and Buzz and Sorry to the third bloke who got sent up and no one can remember his name, including me. Anybody out there who knows the answer to that, well done. <laughs> um, they were looking to shave any weight off anywhere. The cost per um, kilogram or um, ounce um, into space was massive. And the fact was, in space, they needed watches that could be hand-wound. 
because they couldn't wind automatically, no gravity. I mean, that's how automatics work. Now later, um, when weight was less of an issue, the automatic function was put in and they'd still hand wind. Um, the favorite watch that most of the astronauts took up, because everyone, you take a backup of everything, most of the astronauts preferred the Rolex. No real reason why. I think Rolex were desperate to get their stuff um, up in space and they gave the um, NASA pilots really good deals. Every now and again I see one of their plaqued sign I've been to the moon things. You hardly ever see the Russian ones. <laughs> we send junk up into space, no one will buy it when we bring it back, but uh, not so in America. Mind you, it's only got to tell the time. Most people, and this is the biggest competitor to um, watches, of course, is not the smartwatch, which to be honest is still a long way from anything I'm fabulously enthralled with. I have a all the cool functionalities built into my phone. For me, in Bundaberg, knowing tide times, weather alerts for storms, my phone does all that. I try to go in the direction that um, my razor's got to go in to get those difficult hairs. Now you can hear the hairs. Now it's not a case of like one over the other. Both of these are brilliant. This one I bought. And I've realized it's like everything. You know, you get used to its vagrancies. For me, I have to keep my fingers away from this part. So I shave holding it about here. Normally I would shave, you know, like this, but I'll end up turning it and regret it. There we go, that's baby butt smooth. If you go and look at the watch, you'll see the um, some links to the Russian watches. Space watches. <clears throat> well, even leftover, Shaving cream is awesome. The synth brush, I can see why Buster likes it. And I personally prefer a bit more stitch and feel in my brush. So for me, the high synthetic is the winner. Ah, but terrible sound. Oh, here it is. Okay, staring me right in the face. This is the high synthetic, it's taller. It's got very soft ends, but it has a lot more backbone here. Beautiful handle. Really like the Amiga wooden handles. Okay, all cleaned up. And it's beautiful in its own right. But it deserves the title um, high, because it certainly is, um, as you can see, I've been scratching off at every opportunity to get rid of the um, Amiga off this one. Now it's beautiful. It's almost, almost all off. On pop days, a good trick is to take the alum, now it's hot here, and go and run it over your head and neck. Didn't need it for the shave, but uh, a man of mine calls alum hippie deodorant. I thought about it, I thought that's really an apt name, hippie deodorant. It works. Okay, just on the face, a little bit of Thayer's, because as he says, this witch is in a Mm. Ah. I watched his rant, that's Christopher Bailey's, um, you know, and I understand Americans love their guns. So do Australians as they happen. We, we, we too went down the bush ranger route, but someone somewhere said, look, you know, do you need an AR-15 and, and a couple of pistols? to go buy your bread and milk. It'd be handy if the bad guys were the ones that had them. And since a lot of guns, I know this is controversial, wind up in stupid people's kids' hands, angry people, we made sure, thank you, John Howard did one good thing when he was here, brought in some good gun laws. Now you gotta have a safe, you gotta be registered, you gotta lock them up, they have gotta be, uh, you know, who's got what? The police come to your address, the computer comes up and says, yeah, this homeowner's got, you know, um, two shotguns and a rifle. Yes, there's more guns now with the gun laws than before. And uh, they know that that domestic dispute is one they need to be careful of. These are handy things. We're humans, we're flawed. Um, I like our gun system. Mind you, personally, I love guns. Love them. Hate killing things. Love guns. I'm a really good shot. 
Um, when you shoot a few things in your life, you work out whether you like it or not. I don't like shooting things. Um, I don't like things that are alive one minute and dead the next. So pretty much, mm, I love guns. Oh, hardware wise, I'm a hardware man. I read specs and look at the thing, but no, won't be starting a blog on it. Plenty of those already going. Now, last but not least, a little bit of something. I've told you I'm not real keen on the mapper route um, for the face one. If it was up to me, I'd just go jump to the gingers every day, but the scent on that just, it's just not great. Um, I'm gonna go try a little bit of some Arco I got from Italian Barber. I think it's Aqua. I think I meant to get cool, but a few people said they liked Aqua, and I'm quite like it. But I have to try a couple of other scents. Yeah, that is pretty good. I've stopped sweating. Thank you to the Alan. Hope you have a good day and great shades. Remember, good food, good friends, good shades. Amen. While it's nice to be important, it's more important to be nice. Go forth, spread the good message. Wet shaving. I'm Steve, your daily shaver. Good shades and goodbye.